Kardashian walks the streets in a see-through. We interrupt this feed to bring you news about the climate. This is Josh Fox. Every New York City neighborhood you'll see in this video will be underwater if we don't stop climate change. New York City was built on the fact that we have a stable shoreline. But what happens if the oceans start rising? Right now, we're dangerously close to emitting enough greenhouse gases to put huge sections of New York City underwater, like right here at the Brooklyn Navy Yard. The financial district in Manhattan, the World Trade Center, and the 9-11 Memorial. The Brooklyn Bridge won't be underwater, but the on-ramp will be. Coney Island, the Rockaways, Red Hook, Tribeca, Sheepshead Bay, Williamsburg, Battery Park. The list goes on and on. But it's not just what's above ground in New York. The subway runs all over this town, underneath it. And without it, the city ceases to function. So let's talk about the science. Since the beginning of the Industrial Revolution, we've put enough greenhouse gases in the atmosphere that we've raised the Earth's temperature by one degree Celsius. That doesn't sound like so much. 20 years ago, we didn't think it would be enough to really alter things, but one degree has been plenty to get everything frozen on Earth to start melting. Glaciers are melting at staggering rates, and the Arctic ice cap has shrunk to the lowest level ever recorded. Sea level rise has been underpredicted. When you look at sea level rise, when you look at the melting of ice, when you look at many other measures of climate change, they are proceeding faster than we predicted. The science tells us that if we get to two degrees Celsius, we bring about an unstoppable process that raises the sea level by five to nine meters. Meters, not feet. So when do we get to two degrees? Well, here's the kicker. We probably have another half a degree Celsius in the pipeline already. We've put enough heat into the oceans, we've put enough greenhouse gases into the atmosphere that we will see additional warming no matter what we do. That's one and a half degrees Celsius out of two degrees. So why don't New Yorkers know that this is happening? And if they do know that it's happening, why aren't they doing anything about it? Why aren't we parading through the streets all the time worried about climate change? One of the interesting questions is, you know, what will it take? Could it be a part of the West Antarctic ice sheet breaking off and suddenly we get a two foot rise in sea level within, you know, a matter of years or something? That would, that would get people's attention. Is that even possible? Well, as it turns out, this past August, we discovered that the crack in Larsen Sea ice shelf in Antarctica has grown so fast that a huge section, which is the size of Delaware, could break free in the next year. Currently, there is a plan to build a wall around the lower half of Manhattan. It's called the Big U. It's a berm about 10 feet high. That would protect us from storm surge similar to something like Hurricane Sandy, but just in Manhattan. But that wouldn't protect people right here in Dumbo. However, if the seas just rise by five to nine meters, you're gonna have to put a wall around the entire city. But even if we were to do that for New York City, could we do that for the entire East Coast? The coastal regions will basically become uninhabitable because the sea level won't simply go up in one step and then stay at a new level. It will continue, the ice sheets will continue to disintegrate over the next few centuries. So we just won't have a stable shoreline anymore. Already places in Virginia and Florida are flooding on a regular basis. But what's really worrisome is that there are millions of toxic sites in the areas that would be flooded all up and down the East Coast. Oil refineries, chemical plants, nuclear power plants. All of that contamination would wash into the ocean if we don't move all of that stuff in time. So if we're already at 1.5 degrees, and at two degrees, New York City and much of the eastern seaboard goes underwater, we're pretty much out of time. There's no room left in the atmosphere for greenhouse gases. The sad thing is we just opened 23 million new acres in the Gulf of Mexico for offshore drilling and we have 300 new frac gas power plants being proposed in the United States alone. You can either have the 300 frac gas power plants and all the pipelines and the two million new fracking wells to supply it, or the eastern seaboard. Can't have both. It means a vigorous transition to renewable energy right now, getting off of fossil fuels right now. That's the only thing that we can do to save this city and save much of the cities on the eastern seaboard. Kim is definitely bearing it all this summer. This has been your Climate Interruption. This is Josh Fox.